In this video, I'm gonna share with you eight mind-blowing tools that you can use to grow your fan base and market your music that you probably didn't know existed. The first tool that you can use is unsplash.com where you can get free high resolution photos that you can use for your artwork, your single covers, album covers, as long as you give the photographer or the owner of the image rights, but it's free to use commercially. And so we even use this for my single um, Save You. The original cover was just an image off of there. And this song alone has 3.5 million streams. But you can search here for anything that you want as far as artwork if you're looking for something like with waves in it and you can grab an image. They have paid for ones as well too, but you can get some dope stuff here if you're looking for something like a dark forest, uh, for instance, or just something like vibey that you want for your artwork, then you can do that. This one's going to the paid version right there, but if you scroll down here, this one's available free. Download free right now, boom right and then you can scroll down these are the more premium ones but then here's related on this topic this one's free this one's free you can just download right now and so this is a dope tool to get really great stuff for your lyric cards quote cards but of course your album artwork thumbnails you name it unsplash.com Another tool we've been using is songstats.com. Now this is a paid tool. It allows you to see real-time music data analytics for both artists and data. It gives you your Spotify data, YouTube data. I'm gonna log into my account here to show you what I mean. And so right now it's on Spotify. So if I scroll down and let's just choose activity feed. And then right now I'm on everything. So it's giving me the updates of all these things, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon. But if I just click Spotify, it'll specifically tell me what's going on. So this song's reached 100,000 streams. I can see somebody just added my song Firestarter. I can see another milestone for another song. This song was just playlisted. Another song was playlisted. Another milestone. Other playlists that have added songs you can see down. Really cool. If I click on Apple Music, I can scroll down and again, I can see that I reached on Talajiskin. So this is probably like a new uh, playlist or country, I should say, and just see where my song has been reached. Again, on New Christian Rock for release two to stay. There was a really cool one playlisted on new and alternative Apple Music. So this is an Apple Music playlist that this song got. So if I click on here, I can see that it's been playlisted in how long ago. So a lot of really dope data that you can get. Um, you can check out their pricing, Sonic Stats. I'm on the artist version, which I think is only 11.99 pounds or euros a month. So check them out and get you real time activity and all kinds of really cool details on your songs. Number three is canva.com. This is one of my favorite free tools that you can use. Not only can you create any custom size you want, 1080 by 1080. You can create your Spotify profile banners in here, YouTube thumbnails. They give you Instagram posts with like templates and different things. I actually used this the other day. I used this image, I deleted that text, and then I put my own text on here and just made my own thumbnail, right? And what's crazy is, if I go to my Facebook page and my stats, right, and I look at my stats, this is my creator studio, and I scroll down, the post that I actually made, I want to show you if it's in here. Let me just keep scrolling down right here. This one right here, as you can see, I totally used their image here. I don't know if you can see that. I'll scroll in, but I totally used that image here. And this thing reached 36,000 people. All right. It got 118 comments. It got 161 shares all by using this quick free software. All right, and you can also edit videos in here as well too, which is incredible. So I really encourage you to spend some time in here. You can use their free one, and of course there's a paid one that gives you a little bit more plates and access to more design options and stuff like that and more space when you're like editing videos. But if I click File, Create New Design, I can do New Video, and then I can start dragging and dropping and editing videos right here. Awesome. Next up is Hyperfollow, and this is inside of DistroKid. All right, so I'm inside my DistroKid login, which is who I use to distribute my music, and I have a new song coming out called God's Gonna Cut You Down. Well, for Hyperfollow, it allows me to do pre saves of my song. So if I click on this little arrow here, and I click on Promote Yourself, and then I click on Hyperfollow, this allows me to copy this URL and promote this song and get pre saves. So if I just click on this, and 
click Spotify pre-save. It's going to ask me to do this stuff. And now the pre-save is done. All right. So this allows you to not only pre-save songs, but it collects names and email addresses. So if I click edit, I got the song title. And if I scroll down and it's got the song there, I can also even add my own Facebook pixel here and run ads to it. All right. But this allows you to collect names, emails, and of course, pre-saves to Spotify's Spotify library, okay? So I, the goal to get pre-saves of your song is so that when your song comes out, it automatically gets added to people's Spotify library and also even sends them a reminder that the song is out. This is a free tool inside of DistroKid. I'll put a link here below so that you can get 7% off if you're not using them yet because it's a really awesome free tool. Number five. Now, everyone is familiar with Spotify and I'm in my Spotify dashboard here. And when you click on music and you have an upcoming song, you know, you can pitch the song to Spotify editorial playlists, okay? I have lots of videos about that, but did you know? You can also do it with Amazon. If you go to artist.amazon.com and then you click on new releases and you can see here where you can pitch your song. I've got my new song, God's Gonna Cut You Down here. I click on pitch and I click on the song. Why are you pitching this song? So you fill out the pitch bar and I'll do this later, but then you choose your genres. I'm choosing the fact that this is a cover. Does this song have lyrics? Yes. What language is this in? English. So you're basically doing very similar things you would do to pitch a song, but it's to the Amazon playlists, all right? Just like how Spotify has playlists, so does Amazon, so does Apple Music, so does YouTube even. So you wanna start by going to artist.amazon.com and claiming your profile and pitch your next song to get on some playlists. Number six is Active Campaign. This is what I use. I've used them all. I've used Constant Contact. I've used MailChimp. I've used all kinds of CRMs. Active Campaign is by far the best for building your email list, doing automation, sending emails. If you've ever got an email from me, it was using this software. I will put a special link below this video so you can get a 7% off but you need to be building your email list, okay? Spotify could go away, okay? MySpace went away, right? Napster went away. The thing that never goes away that's been around for decades is email. That's what you use to log into all of your programs, all of your software. So you should be building your email list. Look, the number one automation platform. What does that mean? That means once you get someone's name and email, well, they go into a drip sequence where they get a series of email, which is called automation. So I'll put a link below so you can get a free seven day trial. You want to start using Active Campaign is by far the best. It punches MailChimp in the face, in my opinion. Number seven, and this has been a game changer for me, is Printful.com. All right, so I don't print it and I don't ship it. That's what these guys do, all right? And they have so much different merch that you can try designs, hats, posters, mugs, tote bags, socks, shoes now even, and you can test all kinds of really sick merchandise, hats, and you can sell it. They even do patches, they do stickers. And so this integrates to your online store. And so when somebody places an order, they print it out for you and they ship it. But what's really awesome is that they have the locations in Canada, in the US, in Europe, so that you don't have to ship internationally and you don't have to charge your customers a lot of money. Like they even have print houses in Australia. All right, so you definitely wanna get an account with these guys. I put a special link below as well, which leads me to the next one, which is, and this is number eight, is Shopify, okay? And so my store is on Shopify, okay? I have my own customized domain, manifestshop.com, right? But all the merch here you see, this is connected to Printful, but Shopify is where you sell it, right? In your store, but I've integrated it with Printful. So when someone orders this hoodie, right? I'm not keeping stock of this, okay? They place their order, choose their size. Well, Printful is the one that fulfills it. It's like drop shipping, right? They do all the fulfillment, everything, they print it and they ship it and it's great quality and you can do all kinds of stuff, but you need to do that with what? Shopify. All right, you definitely want to use Shopify. And guess what? Shopify also integrates Spotify and Shopify. Imagine that. So when someone goes to my profile on Spotify, when you scroll down here and they want to buy merch, it's right here. Does that not look familiar? This is connected to my Shopify store, which is connected to my Printful store. 
right? So I don't have to carry any stock. It's freaking amazing. And this is all free to set up in Spotify. Um, obviously it's a paid account with Printful and with Shopify, but you definitely want to set those up. I'll put a link below this video. If you need help setting this stuff up, definitely get a hold of one of our coaches, book a call with us, join our Spotify challenge if you want to ask questions or go to smartmusicbusiness.com forward slash coaching and we'll help set some of this stuff up with you if it seems overwhelming or you need walk through it. But these are the best tools. I hope they helped you out. I'll see you in the next video.